project that we're doing this year is in Randy Shear's 11th grade class along with Brandon Davidson's biology class and we're using it to educate people on the water quality and how they can further enjoy their beaches and make them safer and cleaner. We were sort of in the brainstorming stages when Arnold Schwarzenegger he gave us a bit of inspiration by cutting the budget for water testing in San Diego. So when that happened, that actually gave us our project because we were then able to very easily get students interested in testing the beaches and bays in San Diego. Students um, were able to select their own beach and bay locations throughout the county and then they went out of the classroom out to those sites into the field periodically over a month-long period collected samples, brought them back to the classroom to test, and then were able to read the results a day later. We tested for E. coli, total coliforms, and enterococci, and then we used what we learned in biology and humanities to create a project informing the public. Our teacher, Randy, told us to sort of make it into our own thing. So I did an article to get my word out to people. Other people chose to do videos or you could do a photo essay. And basically we're just trying to spread awareness about water quality and things that should be done about it. So the products were very diverse, but every product had a very strong written component. And if you were producing a, a movie of some kind, then the majority of your assessment came in the form of a script. We came up with questions and my question was, what was the North Pacific Gyre and what San Diegans can do to lessen their impact on it? The North Pacific Gyre is an area in the ocean where wind and water currents come and they meet up like in this giant area and trash is collected from beaches and just sewage drains and everything and it's like this giant area of plastic, it's crazy. What I did was make a video on it. I did some interviews from people from Coast Keeper and from Surf Rider and I learned a lot from them what it is and like just the daily things that we can do. Our individual project was a tide calendar of San Diego and what we did is we calculated the tide information for 2009 and then we also took um, photographs of all over San Diego and then we uh, wrote descriptive paragraphs uh, to go with each picture that we had and then we put in environment friendly holidays in there so people can be informed. I think something I'm anticipating from this exhibition is just to get people more aware of what's actually going on with the state of our beaches, such as I'm focusing on what programs are helping on the clean water effort. I talk about Coast Keeper and um, San Diego Surf Rider, and I just want to let people know that there is actually something being done. On exhibition night, students are walking the public through the process of collecting water, processing the water, testing the water, and reading the results. I think the students were really interested and engaged. I think they were really enthusiastic about sharing with the public what they've learned and how the process works. And I think people that came to the exhibition were really interested and engaged in that process too. I think they enjoyed uh, the interactive element of it. And with the Tide Calendar, it's a way after our exhibition for people to be reminded what they learned at our exhibition. So they, everyone looks at their calendars daily and weekly, so if they can look at um, things they can do to help weekly, then maybe it'll stick with them more. I made the website mostly in Flash, and it's something I've used a lot before, but this has to be one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life, because I've spent hours and there's days with no sleep, just making sure that every single person's content and project gets up in time. I think this is the highest quality work I've produced at High Tech Pack. And it's also professional, like we took a really professional aspect of it so it can be used in the real world and not just in school. I was really surprised by the level of critiques uh, in which the students engaged in throughout the entire course of the project. It was just so easy to get students to be interested in this project. We started by bringing them to the beach and doing very general scientific and humanities type activities at the beach. And then from there, it became more and more rigorous and more and more oriented towards depth. So it's just so easy to get them interested and get everyone working on the project. And this is uh, probably the, the most successful project I've had in terms of having every student really striving to do very, very well out of a, what appeared to be a very genuine interest in the subject.
can spare some conversation. Can, can spare some conversation. For more information, visit hitechhigh.org.